What's going on, guys? Taking everybody that's in the break. Everybody should uh, get the tags here. If people are at work or whatever the case is, I understand. I usually break a little bit later in the night. Um, but I do have some errands I have to run at like 8.15, so hopefully uh, it's not a crazy rush. Obviously, since it's a division break too, and it's not a pack wars, guys, the way that I always do it with like uh, my case breaks and stuff like that too, um, is I usually just pull out all the packs and open all of them and just open all of them and then put them in a big stack and then just grab little stacks at a time and go through them. Not fast by any means, but if you guys want me to open them pack for pack, that's fine with me too. It's totally up to you guys. So Vinny, Kyle, Aaron, Joe, if you guys want me to open them pack for pack, that's fine. Or if you guys want me to open them all at once and then just go through little stacks, um, we can do that. So it's totally up to you guys. I think Aaron, you're the only one in here right now, so <laughs> just talking to you, my friend. <clears throat> oh. da, 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 da. How you doing today, Aaron? Wait and see if I can get the other guys in here first before I start doing anything. must be busy. I know Vinny does his own breaks too. He does full-sized helmets and stuff like that. Big hit breaks. Kyle, Joe, Vinny, let me know if you guys are here just by doing a thumbs up or commenting here. Well, Aaron, I'm going to end up starting here in the next uh, minute and a half or so anyway. There, you guys get an emoji for the meantime. What up, Vinny? There we go. Starting to get guys in now. What's up, Kyle? What's up, Vinny? What's up, ABD? I'm in fucking work, man. Yeah, trust me, I know. I just got done uh, with my shift a little while ago. What's up, Eric? Good to uh, see you again. Just saw you at work today. Playing cards, trying to watch. All right, sounds good. Well, I do have some errands to run and a little bit myself here, guys. Um, as I was saying earlier, if you guys want to, the way that I usually do it since it's division breaks and it's not like pack wars like usual, um, I usually open up all of the, the packs at once and just get a nice little stack, and then I take small stacks at once and you know kind of go through it that way. If that's what you guys want, cool. If you want me to go pack for pack, I can do that too. Totally up to you guys. Um, 
just to go over real quick, we do have our random divisions. Uh, Vinny, you ended up getting the NL Central and the NL West. Kyle, you got the AL West and also the NL East. Good luck with Otani. Aaron, you got the AL Central. Joe Strozen, you got the AL East. And the Red Sox, and Devers, and a whole bunch of different... Oh, that's a little crazy. Hello. All right, so that was the list. And... Here we go then, guys. We're going to start this off. It looks like uh, Joe might still be at work or doing some other stuff. I know he's a busy man, so... Where's the fire? It's in this box, buddy. Plenty of it. We already had Kyle call for an Otani because he got the AL West, and I'm with him on that. I would love to see an Otani today. Get all the packs out. Take it away. Box is empty. Box is empty. All right. So I'll just do pack for pack. I think that'll be a little bit easier. All right, guys. So the first, well, hello. Spill them on out. Those must be the hot packs right there. All right. Let's get this camera angle correct again for pack time. blowing me up today. Pull a Bryant 101. That would be awesome. And it looks like we're already flirting with an autograph on the first pack here potentially. So we have a Francisco Lindor and going to the NL Central and the St. Louis Cardinals. We have a Matt Carpenter and the guy has been on absolute fire lately. And this one is not numbered believe it or not. Kind of surprising. Not a numbered one, but that is a Matt Carpenter autograph. Not a bad start, man. Hopefully this is a hot box. Autograph in the first pack. So we got NL Central on the board. Not too bad. I pulled a Mikhail Franco the other day, and I was a little salty, not going to lie. All right, so the first one that we pulled there was a Matt Carpenter. Still got a couple more cards in that pack. So the first one uh, was a Francisco Lindor, and then we went to the NL Central, and then now we're at the AL West with an Adrian Beltre. And then we also have a nice little rookie card right after that with Willie Calhoun for the Texas Rangers. All right, that's one empty pack back there. Pack number two. Yeah, Vinny, you're still on. You're still on a tear there, buddy. Frank Thomas up first. We got a little Bryce Harper action for the NL East. Hey, there you go. Get that one protected right away. We got a Prism rated rookie Shohei Otani. See if this one's numbered at all. That one is not numbered, but still, it is the prism variation. Get that one protected right away, too, for you, bud. Not the auto, but it is an Otani. And there's the Otani, then, for you, bud. And that's going to Kyle. Welcome back. I haven't seen you in a while, dude. And then the rest of that, we had the Eric uh, Hosmer was the final card of that pack, the Diamond Kings insert. All right, next pack, guys. Hopefully this is a hot box where it comes with five autographs. That would be awesome. All right, going to the NL East, we have a Cody... Uh, psh, NL East. Going to the NL West, I'm sorry. We have a Cody Bellinger. Sticking with the same theme, we have a Nolan Arenado. And we have a Miguel Anduar. This is one of the name variations. Instead of saying New York, it says the Bronx. So this is a Miguel Anduar name variation. We'll get that one protected. That's going to the AL East. 
and that's going to my buddy Joe Strozen. And might as well just stick with the Shohei Otani theme. We have another Otani rookie card. Yeah, basically whoever gets the AL West, you pretty much get your money back just in uh, Otani base cards. Everything else is just extra. Get that one. I ran out of little things right now. I might have some more, but I, if worst case scenario, I'll get more at the store tomorrow before I ship everything out. A little ill-prepared, sad to say. All right, and moving right along here, guys. We have a Nolan Arenado, this time not one of the inserts. A Gene Segura for the Mariners. A Yadier Molina. And that's going to the Cardinals, and that's one of the Prisms. And then we have an Andrew McCutcheon Diamond Kings on the back. Not numbered. Next pack. All right, we have a Manuel Margot. Little, one of my favorite players when I was a kid, Tony Gwynn. Ooh. Hopefully this one's a nice low number. This is going to Otani's team, but this is the Los Angeles Trout, and that is number 202 of 299. Not too bad, man. Kyle, you got a good little start going yourself. You may not have had an autograph, but keep pulling stuff like this. That's not too bad. I thought that was one of the numbered to 50 uh, Trouts right there. That's all right. That's just one of them. And then the last card of that pack was an Ahmad, Ahmed Rosario for the New York Mets. All right, next up, your boys. We have a Garrett Cole. Trey Turner. This is one of those cool cards, too, for the Cleveland Indians. This is an Omar Vizquel in the background with Francisco Lindor. And then going to the NL Central, we have a Ryan Braun Diamond Kings Chrome. All right, next up. One of the best hitters in baseball right now on top, Jose Ramirez. We do have a name variation again for the AL East. It is a uh, Stanton, but it says 2017 MVP. Sticking with the same theme, we have the AL East going on. This is one of those cool, out-of-this-world uh, inserts. Aaron Judge, not numbered. And might as well just make it a Yankee pack. We have a Glaber Torres, then. So AL East is on the board pretty much the whole way through that pack, except for the first card. But it was an AL pack, we'll call it that. Next up, we're still looking for one autograph, and hopefully a little bit more of the color variations and stuff like that. For the Toronto Blue Jays, we have a Marcus Stroman. Chris Archer for Tampa Bay. Hey, there's a nice little rated prospect. Going to the Chicago White Sox in the AL Central. A Eloy Jimenez. This kid is going to be a beast. I'd like to see his autograph. This might be entirely too thick, but that's all right. Get a little protector for it. Get that one there. It's just a rated prospect card. I don't think it's numbered at all. It's not, but still. It's Eloy Jimenez. Cubs traded him in order to get Jose Quintana. And then we have an Aaron Judge uh, to round off that pack. It was the Archer and Stroman on top, and an Aaron Judge. So AL East is doing pretty darn good in this break so far. Next pack. Got a nice little stack still. Still searching for another autograph. We did pull a uh, Matt Carpenter, who has been on absolute fire lately. And it looks like we might have another lucky winner. So we'll take the bottom two. Ha! <laughs> we do have the name variation of Clint Frazier. It seems like all the card name variations that I'm pulling right now are for the Yankees. But it's Red Thunder for Clint Frazier. It wasn't Red Rocket like I thought it was last uh, couple nights ago. I said Red Rocket. It's actually Red Thunder. Big difference. Sorry, guys. So there's the name variation. We do have a Scott Kingery, 
There's that Josh Donaldson that's on top. And underneath we have a Jimmy Scherfe going to the Arizona Diamondbacks and the NL West. It's an interesting autograph. There's that Donaldson. Put that there. <coughs> Pardon me. At least we got a nice, uh, usually it's just a lot of crappy rookie cards and stuff like that. It's nice to get the Matt Carpenter pulled. Hopefully it is a hot box, so I'd like to see an Otani autograph before we're done here, Kyle. I'm still pulling for you on that one. Because I want to pull an Otani. For you guys. I believe that is Andy Dalton, too. All right, next up, we have a Michael Conforto, a Ryan Braun for the Milwaukee Brewers. There's a little prism for the Cleveland Indians in the AL Central, Francisco Lindor. And for the NL Central, we have an insert card, Diamond Kings of Joey Votto. I think uh, the crazy stat that I heard the other day, since like 2007 or since he first came into the major leagues, I think he only has a total of 11 pop-outs. That is just ridiculous to even think about. Guy's one hell of a hitter. All right, next pack. We have an Eddie Matthews going to the Milwaukee Brewers. Eddie Matthews. Got to love the old school guys in this, too. And sticking with Joey Votto. Man, the NL Central is just raking. It's the NL Central and the AL East. And speaking of which, we got a nice little color variation for the NL Central again. This time it's a Ryan Sandberg. Shout out to Phil Miller. I know that's one of his favorite teams. And that one is numbered 88 of 99. 88 of 99 for the Rhino. got a couple of decent variations. Actually, I want to get this trough protector, too. And also your other Shohei Otani now that I got. I'm using 55s for the moment just to keep them nice and safe. There's another the other Otani that I have for you as well. So don't forget, you got two so far. All right. And then to round out that last pack that we were opening was a Zach Granite rookie card going to the Minnesota Twins and the AL Central. Next up, let's see a really short print here. I really want to see a short print or an extra autograph would be... Oh, oh, let's see what we got here, ladies and gents. We have a, a Dubal Herrera, and we do have... Oh, a nice short print autograph going to the St. Louis Cardinals. We have a Johan Avito, numbered to 10. That is pretty looking, too. It's a gold optic. I just called for a short print, and Vinny gets the gold. That is numbered 8 of 10, if you can see that on the back of the card there. Those gold cards are no joke, man. It's awesome. Hopefully this young man starts to pan out real quick. And that is three autographs, so that means that we potentially do have a hot box that would or should have two more autographs. So the hot boxes, that's... Isn't that crazy, Eric? The whole Joey Votto stat? But, so, I'm liking this uh, so far here, guys. I'm going to start moving these up because I only got four. But we have three autographs so far and two being optic autographs. So I'm hoping that we have some other chances here for others. And look at that, dude. We got a Prism Shohei Otani right underneath that. So we are just wrecking it with the Otanis. We're doing really well on autographs since we got three so far. One being a short print and one being a Matt Carpenter. I'm hoping this is a hot box, guys. That'd be awesome. I think there's two autograph hot boxes per case. So there's the Otani. Get that one protected for you right away. There's still one more card in this pack. I'm excited for you guys. Spread the love a little bit here. It has been a lot. Triple hit on autos. I like it. Of course you do, Vinny. Of course you do. Why wouldn't you? Stay on that streak, man. Ride that wave. So Luis Gohara is the next uh, rookie card there. All right. Hoping to see two more autographs minimum. 
We got three. Beggars can't be choosers, but I feel a couple more coming. We have a Yadier Molina, a Corey Kluber, a nice little rated rookie uh, name variation for the AL West, if I'm not mistaken, for the Texas Rangers. Instead of Willie Calhoun, we have June Calhoun. And then for the NL Central, we have another insert for Vinny and Anthony Rizzo. Name variations I like to protect up just to keep them different. Those are a little bit harder to pull, the name variations, so. Pardon me. All right, so that was that pack. Hopefully there's a little bit more thunder here for you guys. Vinny's on fire. Vinny, do you want to share the love or what, man? All right, we have a Miguel Sano, Adrian Beltre, and for the AL East, we do have a nice little Mickey Mantle prism here, not numbered. So that's going to my buddy Joe Strozen. The Mick. Oh, and then those are, those are the two, the Adrian Beltre. And the last card of that pack, then, is going to be the Nicky Delmonico for the Chicago White Sox and AL Central rated rookie. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six packs left here, guys. Six packs, four cards per pack. We're looking at 24 more cards and hopefully two more autographs. Keeping the AL East theme going again, we have Mickey Mantle. We have a George Springer. And then we have a Tiago Vieira. And this one looks like it, I was going to say, that looked a little bit different. That one is number 10 of 25 going to the White Sox. Number 10 of 25. So that's a nice little short print for the AL Central. Get that one protected too. See, Vinny's a nice guy. Now that you got three, you're going to share. And then on the last one, Mookie Betts, Diamond Kings insert. Well, it's making us wait. If we got three, awesome. I don't mind that. That just means that we got one extra. But I really personally would like to see a couple more. We have a Nolan Ryan, Texas. Charlie Blackman, Colorado. We have a Dominic Smith, rated rookie for the New York Mets. And then a Miguel Cabrera going to the AL Central and the Detroit Tigers. That's one of the Diamond King inserts. Next up. Getting down there, guys. We got this pack plus three others. And we have a Noah Syndergaard. We have a name variation for Andrew McCutcheon, which is Kutch in the top left there. So we'll get that one protected right away. So there's that one, Kutch. And then we have a Miguel uh, Cabrera, Diamond King's Prism. And then the last card of that pack was a Tyler Wade uh, rated rookie. That's a tongue twister. Tyler Wade rated rookie. Not anymore, it's not. All right, we're good. Next pack, we got three left here, guys. So hopefully there's two more autos at least in these last three packs. Well, here's one of them here. So we'll start. So it is a hot box. It is officially a hot box there, guys. That's awesome. At least you guys got in on this one. And this one is actually a name variation right off the jump. Instead of Baltimore, it's called Charm City. And this is a Chance, Chance Cisco Baltimore Orioles going to the AL East. We have an Adubal Herrera, Diamond Kings. The Freddie Freeman that was on top. And our autograph is... Hey, that ain't bad at all. Going to the Baltimore Orioles in the AL East and my buddy Joe Strozen. That is an Austin Hayes on-card autograph. Austin Hayes. And Austin Hayes, too, on top of it, he is uh, the kid last year, if I'm not mistaken, who went from rookie ball, single A, double A, triple A, you know, all the way through every single stop, and he made it to the majors by the end of the year. There's only, I think, one other person that ever did that in his whole, in his whole entire career. He's back in triple A now, but the kid has a lot of potential. So we get that there. We're just going to keep the autographs up here, but the Shohei Otanis have been very impressive so far. And I'll make sure I make sure uh, that's part of the recap. So that's that pack. Those are the three that were next to it. Oh, there's a name variation. Got to protect that one, too. I forgot. So far, we have four autos. We have the Jimmy Scherfe, uh 
and hopefully that's how you pronounce it. No big deal if it's not. Still learning some of these names for the Arizona Diamondbacks. We have the St. Louis Cardinals, numbered to 10. Austin Hayes, not numbered. And then the Matt Carpenter, not numbered. Austin Hayes is an on-card autograph, however. All right, which one of these two packs are going to have the auto? I'm going to go with this one. Me personally, I, that's just how bad I've been picking lately, so it's probably not going to be the auto guy. Oh, hey, hopefully this is a nice short variation. There is going to be an autograph here, guys. We have an Adubal Herrera, a Clint Frazier, a Josh Bell, and then the final autograph is... A Zach Granite going to the AL Central. And this one is going to be a blue variation, rated rookie, Zach Granite. And this is numbered 22 of 75. 22 of 75. So we got five autographs out of a box that boasts only two autographs per box. Not too shabby. There's that one. We still have a pack left here, too, guys. So there's the granite. And there's that bell, the Fraser, and the Herrera prism. And then here is our final pack. Hey, we have five autographs. Let's see if this is an ultimate, you know, hot box. Let's get that six autograph. Well, can't always win. We have a Joe Morgan on top. Ian Happ for the Cubbies. Hey, that's a cool-looking card, though. Mickey Mantle going to the AL East out of this world insert. And then I'm sure you guys can already see it. Maybe not. The last card is going to the AL West, and it's another Adrian Beltre Diamond Kings. So, but first we'll get the Mickey Mantle protected before I show you guys the last and final card of the break. Oh, as I turn the camera too. And here's the last and final card of the break: yeah, the Adrian Beltre Diamond Kings. And that is it, guys. So we'll do a quick recap for you. I'll get these cards all sorted out. Um, obviously, if you guys need me to ship it, just please send me a PM and say ship, and then send me your, uh, I did it again, and then send me your addresses. Um, if you're going to be picking it up at the store, I'll get everything together. Um, Vinny, I know you guys might be coming down this weekend, so I'll make sure I work on your stuff. Uh, Aaron and Vinny, I don't know if you guys have talked about meeting up yet um, to see what's going on uh, with uh, maybe killing two birds with one stone since Vinny's coming down to the store. Uh, let me know what you guys have planned. Otherwise, I can hold them for you, Aaron, or I can ship them too, whatever you prefer. So just to kind of go through some stuff real quick, we do have the name variations, the Chance Cisco with uh, Charm City. I don't know if I can get that to focus. Apparently not. Okay, so we have the Andrew McCutcheon for San Francisco, and it's the name variation with Kutch on top. This one is a short print variation. Tiago Vieira for the Chicago White Sox, and that's also the AL Central. We'll get that one in a protector real quick, too. Should have had one in there. This one is number 10 of 25. Wow. Time to clean the lens, perhaps? I don't know what's going on. All right. Anyway, I'm not lying to you. It's 10 of 25. And then we do have a Mickey Mantle prism. A June Calhoun, one of the name variations, and a Miguel Anduar uh, name variations. Instead of saying New York, it says the Bronx. And then for a couple of our other ones that we got, some other gems that we pulled, rookie cards, etc. Recently pulled was that Mickey Mantle out of this world. Shohei Otani number one. This is a prism of him running the bases. We have a rated rookie prism of Shohei Otani. We have a normal rated rookie of Shohei Otani going to the same uh, team, and Kyle as well. This is a Mike Trout, number two, 299, I believe. Yep, 202 of 299. And then going to the NL Central, and Vinny was the Chicago Cubs, and that was 88 of 99 for the Ryan Sandberg. And then, of course, we do have our hits, which was a hot box. We have the Granite. Number 275. Nice hit for the Minnesota Twins. That's going to the AL Central. For the NL West, we have a Jimmy Scherfe for the Arizona Diamondbacks. We have the Johan Ovidio, or Ovido. I'll just say Ovido. 
Johan Oviedo for the St. Louis Cardinals. That's NL Central. Um, and that one is numbered to 10. That is a gold prism. So 8 of 10. So it's nice to see the short prints in there. That's going to Vinny as well. Next up, we have our on-card autograph out of the bay, uh, out of the box. Austin Hayes. And I actually kind of like this kid's autograph. I know it's just an A in Hayes, but at least it looks kind of cool. So there's an on-card autograph. Austin Hayes, no name variation, not numbered as well, but it is a rated rookie autograph. And then last but not least was the first pack, and the first autograph that we pulled was the Optic Autographs, Matt Carpenter for the St. Louis Cardinals, also going to Vinny. And that is a sticker autograph, but still, it's Matt Carpenter, and the guy's been on a on fire lately and that is not numbered that's just a base optic autograph all right and that is it for the break guys thank you very much for watching to all you guys that joined like i stated please send me a private message on what you guys want done i will probably post another uh, uh break or two here guys um if anything i'm going to just be doing minis right now to fill up the rest of that uh, mega uh, the mega is going to consist of one box of the encased uh, football and then also one box of the elite football um, once I get a couple more of these boxes taken care of, I'll go get a new little stock up, and then uh, we'll start doing some more pack wars, and then hopefully uh, I'll start getting a couple of cases in too so we can start doing half case breaks and stuff of that nature. Um, I'm going to be running a couple more uh, freebies, one that's going to be specific where you have to get into any one pack wars and then add five to ten friends, and then that way you get placed on the list, and then your friends can obviously get added into that as well. And I'll have uh, an autographed mini helmet or an autographed something higher end i'll get something for you guys that'll be a little bit nicer to make it worth your time for adding friends and obviously it goes without saying please just add trustworthy people if these guys are people that you don't want to talk with or deal with then please don't add them to the group it goes without saying um pass that everybody thank you very much and have a good night we'll see you guys later